th- this th- uh, this I'm gonna do something quickly, and then I'm gonna send a message to the family. I'm gonna address PNB's family, PNB's people, aka Rakim. I'm gonna call him by his name, Rakim, which I pre-recorded. I'm gonna read Al Fatiha. In case you don't know what that is, that is what Muslims do when someone leaves or passes. It's the first verse of Quran. I'm not very religious. I don't consider myself a practicing Muslim, but it is Muslim or not, or, or practicing or not, I've came to find out he was Muslim, so Fatiha goes like this. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Maliki, Yom Ad-Din, Iyakin Abudu, Iyakin Astayin. So you're going to see me do it. If you're not, if you're just the viewer trying to just get skip to the part where I get to the point, I'm going to add a video card or I'm going to tell you in the comments where to skip to. What's up, guys? Test one, two. If I'm being honest, I've let out a couple tears before making this video. Dear man, you're a black man. It's okay to feel like you want to cry sometimes. It don't make you any less of a man. Truth be told, as a people, we're carrying a lot. And looking at us, I feel sad. I feel pain. And before I go any further, to the family of PNB Rock, if you're the mother watching this, I want to direct the message to you. My name is Ali. I go by AK to breathe, but my name is Ali. I am your son. I don't want anything from you. I just want to send you my condolences and my love. And I want to tell you something. This is for all the family, but for the mother, in case you're his mom, I want to send you a message. First of all, as soon as I do this, unless you, unless you fully grieved and finished healing, which I understand is not, it's not, I don't care if it takes you years. Don't watch this until you fully healed. But I'm gonna tell you this before I do the signal. And really all family members. To the mom, a father if there. My name is Ali. I don't care about the rap stuff. Me and your son could have been friends, could be your son could have been me. He could have been any one of that. I want to tell you something. My thoughts and prayers are with you. And I know you've heard it a thousand times by now. Since stay strong, stay strong. The reason I cried before making this is because I went through the same exact scenario not too long ago. And I'm still not healed. I'm a grown man and I cry. It's not a lot of things that can make me cry, but listen to me. And this is for anyone going through the same thing. What I don't know what's PNB's name. One second, I'll look it up. One 
One second. I want to address him by his root. MashaAllah. So you're Muslim. Rakim Hashim Allen. Rakim wouldn't have wanted you to be sad, Mama. He would not have wanted you to be sad. He was a strong warrior. He was a good dude. He was away from the gang stuff. And they may call him a victim, but your son was no victim. Your son was a hero. Your son won't go a statistic. To any black woman that lost her child to gun violence or the rap game, this rap, evil rap industry, I'm gonna tell you something, mother, all the mothers. I'm not Charleston White. I probably, I'm your son's age. I'm 24 years old. I've lost a brother recently, 20 years old, didn't even get to see 21. To the same stupid culture, same scenario almost. And it may feel like your life has no purpose, but mama, you have purpose. I'm here to make you see that purpose. Mama, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. Baraka feek, alhamdulillah. I don't remember Fatiha, but I read it with you. I'm, I think it goes. Yeah, I got it. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Maliki, Yawm al-Din, Iyaka, Iyaka, Na'abudu, Iyaka, Nasta'een. اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم وغير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين امين This is for anyone who lost anybody recently Mama you have a you have a mission a moral duty Allah kept you alive for a reason if you're here waking up every day it's not to be sad Rakim would not wanted you to be sad. So wipe the tears off and smile. And remember, this life is temporary and short. And inshallah, you know, one day we're all going to be in heaven together. I might be in hell, mama, but you, your son is going to go to heaven because he was a good dude. He never hurt nobody. He, so smile, mama. And if you want to reach out to me, my Instagram is going to be down here. If you want to reach out to someone else, maybe whatever, reach out to me. I'm your son. I, we could speak on the phone. I'll give you my number, etc. This is for the mother. Now I want to address the girlfriend. Mother, I stop watching until you've healed. Here. The girlfriend or soon to be fiance. At first I blamed you, but I don't blame you no more. I regret blaming you and I did I refrained from blaming you online when I did these because see I am not a news reporter. These guys think I'm a news reporter, they send me news. I don't talk about anything unless there's a moral of the story. Which I wanna get right into. I don't wanna to take too long. This, this, this part is for the son. Yeah, actually the girlfriend. I don't know your name. I would Google it, but let me speak to you directly. If you ever reach out, then I find out. If not, then you don't want to, and that's not that's not what God wants. Let me take this off. I am sorry, sister, you had to witness what happened to Rakim. I'm sorry. Don't let the internet, leave the internet for a little bit. Get your mind right. And realize you're not alone. 
you are brave and strong. And don't let anything affect your Rakim wouldn't have wanted you either to be sad. He spent his last moment trying to make you and him have a good day. So carry that forward. That's the best way to honor him. Yes, go through with the procedures. Just remember, you lost someone. They wouldn't have wanted you to be sad. And I got to listen to my own advice, but wipe them tears off. And... May God strengthen your faith, okay? To the sons, same thing. Your dad, your dad didn't die a victim, a statistic. He died a hero, he died accomplished, he died a legend, and he left you guys something behind. Unlike a lot of parents. Nah. I know my viewer base. This light is getting on my nerves. It's fine without it, right? I know my viewer base, and a lot of you guys are young. You guys have seen so much bad news, so much random school attacks, so much Rapper is gone, whether it was the streets or it was labels trying to do insurance fraud. You guys have got to see it all. You guys are desensitized. I don't recommend violence. You, I don't recommend violence. And this, take this as irony if you want to. I, yeah, this is irony. But it's really, you know, you know the drill. I gotta do what I gotta do to say what I wanna say on YouTube. A lot of you should have been as a kid. You guys are so desensitized. The only people to this day, when PNB Rock dropped his flag, he said, I'm done with the gang life. I realized then and there, the type of three people who, 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 instead of supporting the young man, trying to turn his life around and leave the, the stupid gang life, stupid gang life, for people who was extorting him, of course they'd be mad, he'd leave him. The people who had something to gain from him being in the gang life and the stupid, idiotic fans. Oh no, the people, sorry, in the middle, people who had to gain like, uh, like what's his name? Julio, that's why I attacked him, because he was trying to clown the fact that he was laughing at it. Listen, PMB's baby mom or, or, or wife or girlfriend, she had to see him get popped. You might be reading so much news on Instagram, but a lot of you live on average regular lives. Have you seen somebody in front of you? Not on a camera, not in a cartel video, in front of you, real life. Have you seen it? I did. Things like this affect you for the rest of your life. I'm not around it no more. I have white neighbors. I live a calm life now. An adult, mature, safe life. But these memories still, still, still... Things like that are hard to forget. When I hear doors slam now, I get, I'm jumpy. I'm, uh, my PTSD is, is no joke. So when you're on the internet telling someone to slide for him, slide for them, ha, 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 you leaving a gang life, I need you to remember these are humans you're talking about. These are not characters in GTA. These are not characters in DTA to the young fans. Stop thinking, rappers, entertainment is a job. Would you rather them be entertainers or rather them back in the streets playing the Hunger Games for you? It's quick games.
I realize this before you hype up the next beef or try to justify the next violent attack. Because just as easy as it was PMB, it could be you. Now, they're saying that there's one victim, which is PMB. First of all, from now on, I can't change the world, but I have a dream. I don't know if I'm gonna change the world. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm gonna try. As long as I'm alive, I'm trying. I'm not a politician, activist, I'm not. I just say what I think. You make your own mind up. Are you happy with the way things are? You're only happy if you have something to gain from it. If you're extorting, if you're, even if you're selling drugs, bro. Like, let me tell you something. I'm from the streets. I lived that life before. So I'm gonna address you not as, I'm not a journalist, like I said. I'm not reading news. I have morals of stories that I'm trying to get to here. Man, it's sad, man. Black people, it's sad, man. Even if you were selling drugs in the hood, trying to flip a pack, violence is not good for your business. And I don't recommend crime at all. But if you were, listen, YouTube, I do not encourage uh, any illegal activity or enable it or encourage it or, or condone it. I don't. But for you... The guy who is already, obviously these rules don't apply to you. I'm talking to you. And devil's advocate, hypothetically, even if you're doing what you're doing, violence is horrible for your business. You must be sick in the head to be able to take a life and go to sleep so easy. That's why a lot of y'all don't go take your own lives. A lot of y'all take advantage of someone else who's in poverty to do your, 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 your ugly deeds, your ugly, how is that? Same thing with the politicians. It's easy to go to war and say we go to war when you're not a soldier, when you're not doing the fighting yourself. If Putin had to go stand in the front line and go in Ukraine himself, he wouldn't be going so war so easy. The same thing with you dirt, I'm trying to censor my language, with you dirty zoo animals, with you dirty, stinky, and I mean morally, I don't know how you smell. Morally speaking, you stink. You make me wanna, sp I'm disgusted. There's four victims here. P and B is just one of them. The second victim is P and B's baby, unborn baby, or any kids he has under that umbrella. First, I forgot to tell you. Let me let me give you context because I'm speaking as if you know what's up. I got so carried away. This is just pure, pure sadness. So it turned out, I don't want to read the news. I don't, I'm tired of reading big words today. I'm sick of it. Boom, long story short, a man and his 17 year old son were both charged. His son went in and tried to rob PMB. I guess he got a chain or whatever he got. I'm gonna address that, no, hold on. Wait, let's see it. I don't wanna say their names. You could look it up. The mother also got charged in being an accessory. The father's outside, son's inside robbing PNB. He does what he does. He, I guess he grabs a chain. He tries to take some from, cause she has money and jewelry too, the girlfriend. He fails. Obviously he just popped somebody in a restaurant. So now it's time to go. He doesn't take anything from her. He goes back outside. Uh, 
Daddy picks him up, or Daddy was already outside. He hops in, drives off. Back to the victims. PMB and any offspring or sons, daughters. The third victim is the kid who did it. He's not going to get any, he's not going to serve time. He might serve a little juvie time, but he's 17. He's a minor. And the fourth victim, even though he is the aggressor in the case. We don't know, but he's the alleged mastermind. Is the guy who is outside, who the police believe is the one who set up this whole thing and sent his son inside the Roscoe's to go rob PMB. Now, why do I call him a victim? Because of his son. His son is not going to get much time in prison. Even if he got a 10 years, it's still not a lot of time. Then he has to come out, and he's probably older now. Even if he don't do time, he has to sit, and whatever happens, happens. He's going to have to understand and reflect on what happened. The fact that his own father, first of all, he's not, not going to see daylight again. His own dad, so he's, he's fatherless, just like PMB's kids are going to be fatherless. The black community is already lacking fathers. So now there's two fatherless people. Just like that. I had to pause for a little bit, but because this story gave me a headache. Eh, you know, you think being a YouTuber is easy. You try it. Covering these hard topics takes a toll on you all day. So the sun is now fatherless. One of them is gonna go through more pain than the other. And that one is the, the guy who pulled the trigger in this case. As messed up as it is, I feel bad for both, but I also feel bad for the kid who did the deed because At 17 years old, you see me now, right? I come on here, I promote positive messages. I speak about peace, about turning the other cheek, about, you know, but I have something to say. When I was 17, a lot of you, if you met me at 17 years old, I would have scared you. I'll see if I got pictures, I'll put them up. But 17 year old me did not have the maturity that I have at 24 years old. 
YouTube, again, I don't promote anything. I'm not going to say it again. Keep giving disclaimers. It's annoying. Especially at this, at this, at this. If you would have met me at 17 and trapped me the wrong way, I would have took your life. And I would have felt bad about it when I reached this age because I grew up growing mature. But 17 year old me, when you're a teenager, when you're a younger male, I don't know how girls work, but I've been 17 years old as a boy, as a black boy. There's a, the part of you that tells you, hey man, you know, it's harder to take risks the older you get. When you're 17, it's like effort. And there's already a, a, a level of testosterone all over the place. But the authority figures in my life, me and my dad weren't too close at 17. It, to be honest, and I'm sorry, Pops, but at that age, I probably hated you. At that age, not anymore, but I'm trying to tell you something. The authority figures in my life told me what's right and what's wrong. I did what's wrong, and I've done things that I regret and still think about, and I've, I've tried to make right. Some I can't make right. I'm not going to tell you I robbed somebody with a, with a knife, but I'm not going to tell you I didn't either. Put that in the air. It's just entertainment. Again, I live to regret it. That kid... Listen, that's why I keep telling when me and my Americans, we argue, and they keep arguing for guns, I tell them, listen, at this age, sure. But if I was 17 with a, with a, with a, with a piece, I would have used it. There was a lot going on in my life in terms of my house in terms of personal life, family matters. A lot of these kids are raised by single mothers. It's hard being a single mother. Shout out to the single moms. But a lot of y'all single moms are dirty hood rats. I'm not Tommy Sotomayor, but you come home and you beat your child. You abuse that child. Again, I know it's hard being a single mom, but a lot of y'all will take your frustrations out on that kid. It's, it's not easy to raise a, a boy as a female. Some things, the father in the picture, and not to say that if you didn't have one, no, you still, you can be turned out fine, but some things are learned better with a father in the present or a father figure. Could be a stepdad. Could be an OG, not the OG like Wack 100 or, or Africa Bound Butter. A real, someone who gave you real right from wrong. Not skewed right from wrong. You, you see that they've done an experiment, and I forget the name of it. And this, I, you know me, I like to use science. The experiment, they brought in actors. And they told the, the subjects of the experiment that shock this person with electricity. But the person that told them to shock him was like an authority figure. I don't quote me on it, but it might have been like a military sort of thing. It was like a general. Like if you're in the army, it's easier for you mentally to process the fact that you can go kill. If, like that's why you see these Americans and overseas in Iraq. They drop the bomb on hundreds of families at once, poof, evaporate. They go ba 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 at innocent people, women, children at times. It might traumatize them, it might not, but a lot of them, this light is getting annoying. A lot of them will tell you this I was just doing my job, I was just following command. I was just following command. It's easy to absol absolve yourself from responsibility. Sometimes it's your job. I get it. Everybody got to feed their family. Cool. 
You got kids. You don't. You got to. I don't care. I get it. But it don't absolve you. And it don't absolve the person who gave you that orders because nine times out of ten, just like I said, for example, Vladimir Putin, he said, let's go to war and invade Ukraine. Russian soldiers got lost in the process. Do you think he'd have that same energy if he was the one who had to go with you to war? No. Do you think the father in that situation, the authority figure that gave a loaded strap or enabled him to go in with a loaded strap, knowing the purpose of why they go in there? That's if he didn't plan it already, if he wasn't the mastermind. Okay? Even if he wasn't the mastermind, you let it happen. What type of what type of father are you, bro? Like it's already bad enough there's a lack of fathers. You Frederick, I, was, I said his name, I know. Frederick, I never thought I'd wish jail on somebody until my brother got took. Senselessly, life got taken. Frederick. You don't love yourself. You don't love your own son. Your own flesh and blood. You sent them into Roscoe's with a loaded strap. And for what? For what? What's the big old reward that makes you send your son to go in? And I don't know if you wanted him to take a life, but he did. It's a 17 year old. You know what it's like being 17, Frederick. At 17, if I had a strap, I probably would have popped it. Just being honest. I was cuckoo. <sighs> F a disclaimer. Man, I want to curse, but listen. F a disclaimer. Let's say, listen, you rob people, right? Let me talk to you as a man from the streets too. If that was your plan, right, to rob them, for what, a chain? Two things, Fred, listen to me. I hope you find, somehow play this video. I hope somebody play this video to him while either he's on a run, because he is, or if he's in jail, please play that. One of the guards, one of the inmates, please play it to him. Hear this out, Frederick, you dumb imbecile, waste of oxygen. I hope they get you in jail. I hope they get you in a shower. Listen to me. If the plan was to rob, I mean, this is for the sun. You didn't pull the trigger. I'll excuse you from that one. But your plan was to rob him for what? For money? How old are you? Are you like 30? He's 30 some. So you're 30 some bum, broke, been in the streets your whole life, got nothing to show for it. Obviously, that's why you out here hitting petty licks. But for what? For money? Resellable items? No. Because when the whole world knows that, it's, let's say you didn't, hypothetically, he survived, you didn't treat him, you took a chain, you robbed him for it. Then what? What jewelry, what jewelry store is going to accept that chain from you without an ID? Number one. Number two, the whole world is going to know. It's going to be publicized that PNB Rock got robbed. A big old chain that says PNB on it or whatever it says. What are you going to do with it? Diamonds lose value. You're 30-some. You're supposed to know that. If robbing people was your, was your, was your full-time job. Are you stupid? On top of that, you's a coward. You is a coward. If you wanted to rob, go do it yourself. I'm tired of these old niggas, man. Censor at 11.48, let me make a note. I'm tired of these old Negroes. Old Negro.
I'm not excusing him. I don't care if he he's a victim of his environment. I don't I don't give a f because I grew up in a similar environment, but I decided to turn my life around. I could have joined a gang like him, but I didn't. Listen, it's hard enough being black in this world. You had a son who lived to be 17, but you didn't teach him right from wrong, like basic stuff. Like you trying to rob a, a rapper with your son and you ain't even do the robbing, you walked in. Your son got flicked, you did the race. A real father, that's if you, I mean, you're not a man as far as I'm concerned, bro. You're a coward. You are ready to me. I'm not, yeah, you know, I'm 30 year old waste of oxygen. If that would have happened and that was your son, right? You would have, shouldn't you turn yourself in and be like, let him go? It wasn't his fault. And then try to fight it with your lawyer, get less time, whatever, because you didn't pull. But it happened. Accident. Anything. Lawyers are, you're in LA. You know how these LA folks work. Something. Instead, you do the race. Ah. Listen to me. If you're a black man from urban city in America, I don't give a F U Q K because the, the, unfortunately that that BS is, is worldwide. A lot of us who come from that have lost people. I'm not gonna say soldiers because this is not a military. It's not Vietnam. Like what's his name? We lose homie, homies all the time at 30, 40 some years old. It's not normal. A lot of you have lost people, brothers, fathers, sons, uncles, a lot of you, even females, sisters, daughters, whatever, claimed by that. You have a moral duty. My brother that passed, he's not gonna pass a statistic. I refuse to. My auntie that passed writing for freedom, she's not gonna pass a statistic. I promise you. If you have a spine, and you're black, and you're like me, you lost people to this, sitting there and just saying RIP ain't buying chains with, your, with a picture on it, or 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 or, 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 or or naming a black after him, or throwing a sign, or whatever you do, a world naming weed after your friend, nah, it's over. You have a moral duty, unless, you want this to keep going for the next generation? You're spineless if you do. You have a moral duty to take a stand and speak out against this. Speak out against the violence. I don't care if they clown you. Let them clown you. Unless you want your brother that you lost, uncle that you lost, either to the system or to the grave. To the stupid culture mentality. You got grown men. Listen. You got grown men on Instagram trying to call me sweet and P, P cat, P U S S Y, because I'm defending that or call me Charleston White or snitch. Listen, you're a waste of oxygen, bro. They should lock you up. I never thought I'd, I'd wish prison on somebody. I never thought. But you, you belong. Give him the book. Unless you want your fallen people, not soldiers, your fallen people, think about how many of you crave a conversation with somebody who's no longer alive? I do. It's not an easy feeling.
unless you want them to pass. Nah, let me stop censoring myself. Unless you want them to die in vain and just be a statistic, they keep doing what you're doing. You're going to end up like him. If you want things to change, all of us have to take a stand. Until when is music going to be filled with, with, with hunger games, quick games? I don't see white people doing that. I don't see the Chinese people, the Asian people doing that. It's just us. It's embarrassing and sickening. And I think I've had enough. We're in 2022. This next generation should not have to go through what we go through. All you old heads that are sitting justifying that, I pray to God, since you live by the sword, that you go out by the sword. Please, God, because if you sit there and justify it, take them out. Because so, I can justify your passing, just like you justify someone else's passing. You waste Waste. Supposed to be with age comes wisdom. With age, you gain nothing but 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 cowardness. I swear. See, Bill Gates wanna depopulate, they should take all y'all and let's let him depopulate y'all. Just y'all like to justify. I seen Fuyo, he was clowning. Then when I, the day I started criticizing him, I checked his story. He's seen it, by the way. I checked his Insta story. He was commenting about PNB. He's like, this is sad. I get scary for a rap. Yes! See what happens when you're human? When you stop pretending that you're some big bad man. Oh, you, you drop the flag. Ha, ha, ha. Kondo had to watch his homie bleed out in front of him. You guys kept clowning because you're so desensitized because of social media. Okay. But I'm in the wrong. Okay. At this point, any, every black man from that background, you have a moral responsibility. I don't care if you're young. I don't care if you're old. If your old heads ain't telling you that, they preach and keep doing it, leave them. Get away from them. Unless you want to end up like the victims you keep creating. Because a lot of y'all are still in life. I know. I'm from it. I'm trying to show you a better way. Not just for you. For your family, man. That's still in these areas. For your kids that you're going to raise. Because the culture has left the hood. And now it's in suburbia. I don't want to live in a dystopian future. I'm sorry. I'm not proud of y'all until things change. If you're somebody you know got claimed by that and you go buy a chain, you deserve to be smacked. May somebody rob you for that chain. Because they will. Stop it with the flex culture. Invest that money. Buy a business, something. But you go buy a chain and they're broke. Bravo. Genius. You happy? If you lost someone, stand up and speak out. I don't care if you look like you're crazy. You're not alone. I'm here. I'm your age. I'm not Charles the White. I'm not Hassan Campbell. I'm your, I'm your age. I don't care if you don't respect it. It's time things change. Martin Luther King, he passed too. It's sad, but it's not sad because he, he didn't pass a statistic. He passed the hero. And look at the effects of it. Things ain't perfect, but they changed. Your people should be heroes and change the world. And that's how they get remembered. Otherwise, it's just a statistic. And if you're happy being a statistic, be happy. Get off my page. I'm not even going to tell you like, subscribe. I'm done talking, man. I don't feel like it. I'll see you when I'm in a better mood, man. Don't be a statistic. Don't be so desensitized and clown somebody on social. Ha, 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 ha. It won't be so funny when it happened to you. Watch out.